Well, the budget has uh, considered a lot of social initiatives for improving the lives of uh, the disadvantaged and the marginalized community. Apart from considering a lot of green initiatives uh, for a transition to a low carbon economy, uh, in meeting uh, India's overall target uh, of SDGs by 2030, as well as towards a net zero target by 2070. However, in my view, the budget probably falls short of uh, uh, mentioning about investments to expand the grid infrastructure to cater the targeted uh, 625 megawatt of, uh, of uh, green uh, energy in the form of non-fossil fuel based energy as well as uh, as well as which is something like close to 500 uh, gigawatt as well as 125 gigawatt of hydrogen uh, that's something which i feel has probably been missed out apart from that some sort of incentive could have been provided for the purchase of carbon credit so instead of taxing it out to 10 percent i believe had uh, uh, there have been some sort of taxation in that companies could have invested in uh, in uh, a lot of uh, such initiatives which government has actually announced on green farming a lot of green technologies so carbon so companies could have invested in that to take a stake in this carbon offsets program as well as uh, there could have been a little bit of uh, 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 tax incentive for the renewable sector in section uh, uh, in, in certain section of, of income tax act uh, which could have actually helped the companies to probably take some sort of uh, deductions against the capex.